Hi everybody, I'm Gwen. Welcome to At Home with Gigi. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is the day that I share with you the question for the subscriber appreciation giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned for that. More details are coming up soon. And guys, I had planned a completely different video, but I got really sick this week and was not able to put out the video that I had planned. So my apologies for that. So I hope you enjoy three of my favorite 4th of July DIYs. Now let's just go ahead and get started. For this project, we're going to be using these three letters and they came in a bundle from Michaels and I picked them up last year after the 4th of July when they had their clearance sale for 70% off. And we're going to go ahead and give them one coat of the Linen White from Rust-Oleum. We're going to be decoupaging these letters and once the paint is dry, I'm going to go in and give it a coat of Mod Podge and let that dry because we're going to be using the iron-on method or heat method to attach the napkins. Y'all, isn't this napkin absolutely beautiful? I love it. I found it at Hobby Lobby and we're going to be using just one napkin for all three letters and you'll see how I put them together. You do want to make sure you remove all of your plies. This one had three plies, so just make sure you remove them all. Once I've done that and cut this one down to size, I'm using a piece of parchment paper over the top and then I'm just going to use my iron on low heat and the heat will reactivate your Mod Podge and cause that napkin to adhere to your uh, letter. No matter how many times I do this, it just always amazes me what a perfect finish you get every time. It's so smooth. I am having to piece the napkin together for the S and the A and I'm just kind of holding it in place like I always do using my iron to get that reattached and now I'm going to line it up as best I can and then just line it right up there and you can see I forgot to put the parchment paper over it usually you don't want to do this because you know you could get Mod Podge on your iron but luckily I didn't get it on my iron this time because it was dry and then I'm taking a third little small piece and just tap tap tapping there on the edge and just, you, it's seamless. I wish you could see it close up. And then I'm just gonna repeat it again on the A. And then I'm like, yeah, it's time to use the parchment paper here. <laughs> Sometimes my brain just doesn't kick in for a minute. I'm just gonna use my little finger sander and just go around and just remove that excess napkin. You do wanna make sure you're sanding away and to get in the little nooks and crannies, I'm just using a little small nail file. And that's it, it's finished. It, this was just such a easy, easy project and I think it is so pretty. Of course you can use napkins from the Dollar Tree. I just happened to find these at Hobby Lobby for 40% off, I think it was maybe 50. I don't remember now, but I love this napkin. It is so gorgeous. For this project, we're going to be creating a shelf setter. I'm using this Uncle Sam's hat, and this came from Michaels. I'm giving it one coat of Rust-Oleum Linen White. Let that dry. I've already taped everything off, and then we're going to go in and give it three coats of Apple Barrels Bright Red. Now, I would have much preferred to use Crimson from Waverly for this part, but I was almost out of it, and for whatever reason, it just did not occur to me to add plaster of Paris to thicken up this paint. So as I mentioned earlier, I did have to give this three coats for the coverage I wanted. And y'all, I did have some bleeding. I'm okay with it. It's hand painted. It's for me, but I will show you how I go went back and touched it up. I didn't do the entire thing. I just did not have the patience for it. So I'm just using my little finger sander, running it along the edges there, and then I'll just wipe away the residue. And then I'm going back with a very tiny paintbrush with some Rust-Oleum and just touching it up. I'm using Admiral Blue from Apple Barrel for the band and I did remember to add my Plaster of Paris to this and I used about a teaspoon or so if I remember correctly. Just mixed it up really well. That's a wonderful trick to use if you're out of chalk paint. And for the brim, I'm just using the exact same bright red paint and I believe I gave it two coats. We're going to add this number four to the front of our hat. First, we're going to give it a coat of the Admiral Blue and let that dry. Then I'm going to give it a pretty heavy coat of Mod Podge. And while it's still wet, we're going to give it just really, really coated with this dark blue glitter. And then after it's dried, 
I'm going to take it outside and give it a really good spray with Mod Podge just to seal all of that glitter in. So it's the 4th of July. You have to have stars, right? And these are the little stars that come from the Dollar Tree. They're gold. I'm just giving them two coats of Rust-Oleum chalk paint and then while they're still wet, I sprinkle them with white glitter. And we're also going to be using these galvanized letters from the Dollar Tree for the word July. And as you can see, I'm painting them white as well. And I'm like, eh, that don't work because I'm putting them on the front of the star. So I'm coming back with the little bit of crimson chalk paint I had left and just give them a coat of that. And I've used Gorilla Gel glue and attached them to the stars. And then we're also going to use this Gorilla Gel glue and just glue them right across the band of the hat. And then I'm just popping the number four right in the center, or as best I can in the center of the hat. And we're going to call this project finished. And yes, it was a little bit of painting to do, but it wasn't hard at all. And if I hadn't have gone on vacation in the middle of making this project, it wouldn't have taken long at all. But I love how it turned out and how it looks on my hutch. Okay, so here's the question for my subscriber appreciation giveaway. Do you have an area of your home that you decorate? Like, I decorate my hutch every season. Some people have a hutch, some people have a tear tray, I have those too. Some people have a table or a designated area. Tell me down below in the comment what is the area or item that you decorate every season. The giveaway will be open until June the 8th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time and I will draw two winners randomly if you've left your comment down there and you're subscribed. And then on June the 9th, I will post the winners on my Instagram feed and in my community tab on YouTube. You'll have one week to reply to me. And the you'll see here on the screen in just a moment the details, but it's also going to be down in that description box with all the details, what you need to do in order to collect your $50 Amazon gift card. And it's just to say a very big thank you so much for all the love and support that you have given me. So instead of floral foam, we're going to use great stuff to insert all of our greenery and flowers. I've never used this before and I've been wanting to use it after seeing Damon over at Deco Exchange and I'll list his video below. He gives a great do's and don'ts on how to use this stuff. Now I'm just going to very slowly point this into my basket and then just start going around in circle. And you do want to do this very slowly because if not, this stuff will come out and go everywhere. And you want to be very careful. And if you can see, I've protected my surfaces with plastic. I have put plastic inside the basket because I want to be able to reuse this basket. Y'all know I like to reuse my stuff. And if I don't do that, this great stuff will adhere to the basket and will never come out again. I just want to mention, you want to make sure you do not touch this stuff, guys. Just use a little common sense and you'll be just fine. I left this set up for about 48 hours, and this is what it looks like when I removed it from the plastic. Now, the top is very spongy like floral foam, but the bottom is very hard. And as you can see, it was kind of loose when I put it back in there, so when I flipped it over, it fit better. But this created its own issues, but I'll tell you about that in a second. For my greenery, I'm going to be using greenery from the Dollar Tree, from Walmart, and I will also add in bits and pieces that I had left over from other projects. As I mentioned a moment ago, this shiny surface of the Great Stuff created a little bit of an issue. It just made it, it was harder than the other side of it, which is really spongy to insert my greenery, but you just have to use a little more pressure and it works just fine. And aren't these flowers gorgeous? I've reused them several times over the last couple of years. And y'all, I cannot remember what the name of these gorgeous flowers are. So if you know, drop it down in the comments down below for me. Aren't these poppies just the sweetest? I think they are so pretty. And these came from Michael's last year as well. And guys, just a little tip to make your arrangements look high end when you're using Dollar Tree or even some of the Walmart greenery and flowers. Take flowers from Hobby Lobby and Michael's and get them when they're on clearance or on sale for 50, 60, 70% off and add them in. It makes your arrangement look so high end. For the blue, we're just going to add in some of these little thistles that came from Walmart. And they were only a couple of bucks each, and I thought they were just a fun addition to the arrangement. And I'm just going in and filling in the empty spots with 
some more of this, I think it's wheatgrass, and this also came from Walmart. And because I forgot to add it in earlier, I'm just going to add in my moss just to cover up that spray foam. I don't know why I always forget to add this in, but I do. We're just going to make a quick little bow using uh, three different types of ribbon. And again, all of these came from Michael's. Last year I hit it at the perfect time. They were having their clearance sale after the 4th of July. And y'all, that's when I like to stock up on my ribbons and florals and things like that. I hate to pay full price for any of my crafting items. I'm going to use a zip tie to cinch my ribbon there in the center. You can use a pipe cleaner if you prefer, but I find that you can really get it a lot tighter, at least for me anyway, using a zip tie. Just clipping off that excess there in the back and just fluffing it up and seeing how I want it. And I'm just going to take another little piece of the smaller ribbon and then just wrap that around the center to cover up that zip tie. So I needed a way to attach my bow to the basket so I decided to use a bamboo skewer and I'm just cutting it down to the right size and then I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue it to the back of the bow. You're going to want to make sure that you give your bow a good fluffing. And just The trick to a good bow is just to keep working with it and just keep fluffing it until you get it exactly how you want it. And let me tell y'all, that can take me a minute because I am never satisfied with my bows. Y'all, I think this has turned out so pretty and only one thing left to add is just the flag and this came from Walmart and no, I didn't cut it down. I was in a hurry when I ran in and picked this up and didn't realize it was broken, but it just happened to be just the perfect right size to fit right here in this little spot and I, I'm loving this. I think it is just so pretty and just perfect for the Memorial Day and the 4th of July. It had finally stopped raining and the wind was cooperating and just a gentle breeze for my flag and y'all I couldn't ask for a better spot or a better view of this beautiful basket outside on my front porch. Y'all let me know what you think about it. As always, thank y'all so very much for choosing to spend part of your day with me. I truly appreciate you. I'm so excited about this subscriber appreciation giveaway, so make sure you're subscribed and make sure that you leave me the answer to my question down in the comment section. I cannot wait to give away two of these gift cards. So guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see y'all soon.